let me walk you through this week's module. So we're going to talk about atoms and molecules. Um, and the reason for starting with atoms and molecules is because everything that we are is based on atoms and molecules. Uh, I'm a molecular biologist by trade, so I think in terms of atoms and molecules, how do things fit together? How do things work together? And everything that biology is, is fundamentally based on atoms and molecules. So we're going to have to start with those. But we don't have to overcomplicate it because you just need to understand it in very simple terms. Um, but one thing I want you to understand, so as usually you have um, the um, module overview, uh, the walkthrough I'm recording right now will be right, around, right there. Um, I'm sharing this picture because it drives home the idea that we all know that we breathe out carbon, right? You all know that you breathe out CO2. So there's a carbon molecule there, a carbon atom there. Well, this carbon atom that is in that that we breathe in and out, it's the same atom as what you find in a pencil. So the things that all the chemicals on this earth are recycled over and over, converted into something else, recycled into something else from, from and, and we'll talk about this during class, from the carbon in your breath comes the sugar in the tree and all of those things go together. Um, and so I wanna start th getting you thinking about those kinds of things. Um, helpful documents as usually you just click on here and in this folder, you will find the chapter objectives you can use again to um, work with the SQ3R reading system. There's a lecture PowerPoint that you can use to organize your thoughts. And then there's a folder that has the sample questions in it. Um, read the background information, chapter two and three in the, in the textbook. And I'm gonna go there real quick to just kind of look at that with you guys. So chapter two and three are about atoms and molecules. And there are a couple of sections that I'm not gonna be too keen about. So table of contents, uh, pay attention to the table of contents. Um, it gives you pretty decent summaries of what's going on. So don't just look at the text because there's a reason why, um, why books are structured the way they are. So Chapter two, the chemical basis of life. Um, it gives you an, uh, it, it tells you the, the, um, the chemical basis of life is uh, struck, is, uh, has th three main parts. And the three main parts is the big ideas, the basics that you need to know about elements, ad uh, elements atoms and compounds. Chemical bonds is how they interact with each other. And then we have to pay special attention to water. Water itself is um, is a magical. It's a magical thing, and we would not we would not have life as as we know it if it weren't for water. Water is 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 everywhere, which is why when we're looking for life on Mars, we look to see if there had ever been any water, because um, life really could not happen without the very special properties that water has. Um, so I do want you to look at the um, the organisms and how how what the elements are, how the elements function. Um, don't worry too much about trace elements. That's yeah, that's 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 a detail we don't really need to worry much about. Um, you should kind of understand what protons, neutrons, and electrons are, but but really the electrons are going to be our more important uh, thing because the electrons are what bonds are based upon. Uh, radioactive isotopes you can skim um, only if you want to. Um, pay attention to the distribution of electrons, how that um, determines an atom's properties, because that's that's very crucially important. Um, ionic bonds, it's all about charge when it comes to when it comes to um, chemical interaction, it all is about charges, um, whether that's just a little charge, and then we're going to call this thing polar, or it's a big charge, and we're going to call this thing ionic. 
Um, and then we'll talk about, uh, then this talks about hydrogen bonds, which is where the water comes in. Um, because hydrogen bonds, hydrogen bonds are magic because they're, 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 um, they're a weak but polar bond. And that's why, um, why hydrogen can interact with, you know, uh, why water can interact with basically anything. Um, so look at, look at the water. Um, acidic and basic, um, skim it. Don't, don't get yourself uh, too concerned about it. Um, and then the scientific thinking and the um, evolution connection, you can, you can skim those too. Uh, chapter three, we're going to talk about the molecules of life, which is mostly macromolecules. Um, so we're going to talk about um, the properties of carbon and carbon is, is um, again, another one of those magical compounds. Um, don't worry too much about functional groups. Um, I'm more interested uh, in, in the fact that cells make large molecules from a limited set of small molecules, how that goes together, and then look at the different uh, kinds of macromolecules. So look at what carbohydrates look like and, and how, they, how they form polysaccharides. Um, look at uh, lipids, and lipids are kind of special. Um, so uh, lipids, uh, especially phospholipids, um, are very special because of their interaction, how they interact with water. Um, you can skip the anabolic steroids unless you're unless you're very uh, very uh, if you want to know it for personal reasons. Um, proteins are crucially important. Uh, you need to try to understand how proteins are made up and what makes them functional. Um, and the functional shape is is um, that's an important thing to understand when it comes to proteins. Uh, nucleic acids. We're going to talk more about nucleic acids in um, in later chapters. So um, don't get overly excited about nucleic acids yet. Um, so far, we're going to be more interested in the kinds of things that we find in food at this point in time. Um, so once you read this. Then go to the question, uh, go to the question set, to the sample questions, and see if you can answer them. Once you do that, and I think I forgot. Once you do that, um, you then can um, watch these uh, assorted videos. So there's one. Um, so the other thing I want you to think about is about we often make this distinction between chemical and natural. And the reality is there is no distinction. Everything is chemistry. Everything you see outside, everything you see in the air, it's all part of the periodic system. Uh, there's uh, the periodic table. There's nothing else out there. There's no other chemicals, right? So, so like I said, the carbon in your pencil is the same carbon that you breathe in and out. So uh, there is no difference. Um, but, but we have a hard time understanding that. So watch this video uh, where this kind of gets described a little bit, read this blog post, um, and then look at these resources. The resource page basically gives you a link to videos. Um, there are two people I like a lot, um, Paul Anderson and um, Hank Green, who does um, Crash Course Biology. Uh, sometimes if you have a hard time getting through the book, Listen to Hank for a little while and then have him tell you about about life and how these things go together. Um, and then there's another set of videos. Um, and so some of some of what I'm trying to do this uh, this uh, with this unit is to introduce you to tools. Um, so we I introduced you to the SQ3R reading system last time, and this time I want to um, introduce you to videos as a as a tool that you can use to help yourself. Um, Get, get access to the material. And once you've um, looked at all those materials, then you go to the section with the activities and assignments. So here you access the Mastering Biology course. Um, make sure you review the sample questions first before you do this. Um, because you can basically use um, the chapter two and three questions to check your answers, or at least most of your answers. Um, then click on this quiz. 
Uh, this quiz asks you to, um, for this, I ask you to um, watch one of the videos, either um, Hank's Why Cobbins a Tramp, or um, his water video, or grab one of the Bozeman ones. Um, I selected specific videos because I want you to watch a video that's related to what we're doing. So don't skip ahead and look at something with nutrition or something with genetics. We'll get there. Um, we're going to look at atoms and molecules and macromolecules this week. Um, so um, just review this. Um, then there's the natural versus chemical unit, um, which discusses the whole, you know, is natural always good? Is chemical always bad? And obviously the question is no. So um, look at that. Give me the answers to that. And then you've got the critical thinking videos. Um, where I want you um, to answer a couple of questions about these videos. And that's it for this week.